Can you see me? You know where I'm at. Hold on. So, can you see me better? I don't want to show too much because I'm in lingerie. It's bedtime, no other time. <laughs> The whole day has been chaotic. Let me cover this. Hold on. Lingerie because I'm going to... Sleep. Nothing else. <laughs> Period. Um, listen. Why... Why did me... The whole day has been super chaotic. Now I had to block my mother... <laughs> The talking to, guys, I literally cut her off right before Mother's Day, and look, it's giving. I'm cutting her off again for Father's Day. It just, my mother just doesn't get it. I can't. I can't, you guys. I don't have the freaking energy. Today has been draining. It's been. I had three fights. Let me see how many fights today. Oh, so I didn't. If you were there on the last live, shout out to Queen. I. I I didn't end it. So, like, I'm literally not going to keep doing this. Either we have connection or we don't. Because right now, it says two. What are we doing? What are we doing, T-Mobile? Yeah. So, anyway, if you were here for the last live, Queen was on. And she was talking to me about... <sighs> carry and whatever and whatever but she got cut off that was her phone that wasn't me i was gonna cut her off though so it was perfect timing yeah so that was earlier um it's giving i i don't know if it's giving i don't give a f this summer <laughs> that's what it's giving i'm not gonna hold you it's 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 definitely giving that i'm over it I'm over it all. Like, pass me the drink. Pass me the smokes. Pass me the meats, the wings. I don't like too much meat. Pause. <laughs> I like, I'm a wing girl. I do like glizzies. Hot dogs. Pause. Um, but what they gotta be burnt. They gotta be real. Like, I don't like nothing cold. Don't you wanna piss me off? Give me cold food. It needs to be hot, like burnt almost. Not like burnt, burnt, but you know, with that char on there. I love that. I love sausages, slightly again charred with lots of onions and peppers. I even I love jalapenos or hot sauce on everything. And like literally everything. I like everything spicy, like me. <laughs> um yeah, it's giving. I'm about to get a new grill. I'm about to get a gazebo. I know y'all gonna laugh. I want a swing set for me. Like it's for I'm I'm fronting like it's for Aiden, but I, dead ass no, it's for me. Yeah, life is that stressful. Yeah, where I literally feel like I want at the end of the night to be on here, like how I'm on here with you right now, with a blunt hanging out my mouth, some frozen uh, a frozen uh, rose, and I'm swinging on a swing. Yes, that's that's like my happy place. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm thinking is gonna be best. Um, I don't know if they make them for like us. Do they? I'm sure they have something. Something. Ooh, the boobies is trying to show to y'all, <laughs> baby. Let me cover it up. Cause if it if it peeks out, you won't be back. <laughs> y'all ain't ready for all that. This is not no. You, it's really the boobs for me. It's so annoying, sis. Oh, I'm seeing so much cute dresses on ASOS. 
What else did I see some? Uh, Doll Skill. Um, my other favorite place, Akira. I'm like, ooh, 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 all these nice dresses. The one I work with, Chick Couture, I love it. And then I'm like, my boobs, I don't I don't know where I'm gonna put that and my back. <laughs> ah, I don't know where I'm gonna put that ever. It says it's not but you know what? Listen, fuck that. There goes my curse word for the night. I was doing so good. Forget that. I'm going to, what I'm thinking I'm going to do, right, is buy the sexy pieces and then wear like an uh, over something, like how I kind of have on now, you know, so I'm I'm still wearing it so I get the whole vibe and I get the whole feeling, but it's like, not like I'm super exposed, because I'm, I get like super shy, believe it or not, like with, you know, I like to wear, I love to dress now, we know that. But with the sexy stuff, I get super shy. <laughs> I don't know why. I'm always like that. I always. So, like, I'm always like, oh, okay, wait, hold on. You know, like, even, you know, everywhere. Like, even. <laughs> Ciao. Whew. Anywho. It's a lot going on. I'm about to turn this on. I haven't did a roll call in a minute. Florida, I wanted to ask you guys a question. I know that it's going down over there. Your, uh, hi, Bonita. Hi, boo. Your, hi, SoCal. So, your governor, Florida, has been on one. I reported the story at Sipping with Tea underscore. The link is in my bio. You can see the page there if you don't know it. So, allegedly, you guys, right? Hi, guys. Allegedly, um, Florida decided to get rid of all of their immigrants and now it's a hot rotisserie mess. So not only, listen to this, they had over a hundred and something farms. Guys, you down, they're down to nine. Why is this your business? Because it's going to affect our freaking prices again. If, think about it, if that's where we get our source of things, right? The majority of it, think about the, the oranges, the limes, the lemons and what have you. They said the beans, the corn, it's only going up because they're limited. They're going to have to drive the price up. This is madness. Bring them people back. Americans don't want to do those jobs. Like, we don't, I don't even want to work. And I have it good. I can't even imagine. Like, this is like, we don't, we don't, we, no. Y'all messing shit up. Somebody just said it. The country's built on immigrants. Doing all the jobs that we are too spoiled or do not want to do. And they have no problem doing it. Somebody said Texas too. Somebody said they're going to grow their own shit. I know that's right. So it's Florida and Texas. So both the governors is turning up. I'm telling y'all. I'm telling you right now. The, the love affair... The love affair that is happening between me and wanting to start over in a new country is wild. I've had it with the violence. First of all, listen, there's a story. I didn't report it yet. I got to get it because there's so many stories since I started doing that blog. A mother was downtown Brooklyn, I believe this week, with her child. The child was acting up. She started yelling at the child. So allegedly... According to a construction worker that was nearby, another woman started to tell her, why are you yelling at the child like that? And then proceeded to lunge towards the woman and her child to try to stab the child and stab the woman six times in broad daylight downtown Brooklyn. Then, I believe somewhere in Seattle, a mother who was in her Tesla was stabbed up broad daylight like completely unprovoked when I tell y'all outside is unhinged that's not even first of all there's more stories when I tell you outside is unhinged matter of fact let me lock this fucking door but you know me I always have shit on me I have stuff on me and I don't go if it's not on a car it's underneath my boob the way that I see it we are under attack I don't know what's going on, but if I had to guess, I'm going to tell you guys, you see, after this pandemic, they was already not right. They even more so not right now. 
the road rage or this and that, you really have to understand. You understand what I'm saying? Let it go. It's not worth it. Because you don't, these people are unhinged. Just out of nowhere. Somebody said, I'm in Seattle. It was a homeless man. He shot the pregnant, pregnant woman in her car. Well, where did the homeless man get a gun? This is what I'm talking about. They are so busy worried about the LGBTQ community and their fashion, which who the fuck cares what they want to wear, what they want to do? Who cares? Why do you care so much? I will never understand the emphasis these people place on shit. There I go cursing again. But I'm sorry, you guys. I'm passionate. I'm so annoyed. Why are y'all so panini press? Girl, they said Target lost so much money. You know, they came out with a collection for Pride. Well, yeah, they came out with a collection for Pride and they made baby stuff and kids stuff this time. And baby, the parents were going insane. When I tell y'all the parents was in shambles. And I'm like, nigga, shut. Like, okay, cool. Just don't buy it. Why y'all going messing up the, the, the displays, turning up, trying to fight the people at Target? They said they was calling up the customer service, the credit hotline. <laughs> they said they was calling up the credit hotline on Target to complain about the LGBTQ displays. And now you want to... I don't care about that. That's none of my business. That's none of your business. That's nobody's business what they want to do. Why don't you worry about who's get where the guns are ending up and it's usually in the wrong hands? And who do we need to put in charge of fixing that? Because this is a problem, not Target. That's the target. The target is targeting the people who have the power to make the changes in regards to the gun laws. I also want to have a conversation in regards to the people in the judicial, the justice system. That's a very faulty one. Yes, in regards to just the overall system, police reform, everything. Police brutality, and then some. I want to have it trickle down from the top. I want solutions. I don't want to keep talking about the same thing over and over again and things that don't concern me or have nothing to do with my life. What you choose to do in your personal life and the privacy of your own home, bedroom, bathroom, hotel, Airbnb, hostel, a woods, whatever you choose as a grown adult, that is your business, not mine. I'm more concerned that can I go to the freaking grocery store and come home okay to my son? Because that's the state of America that we're in. Can I drive down the street and be stopped by an officer and make it back okay? Can I go to the emergency room and be okay? Those are my concerns. Can I go shop? I don't get anything from these people. I pay for everything out of pocket. Can I get some groceries <laughs> at a reasonable rate because I have to constantly keep buying? You said what's going on in the woods? You know what they doing in the woods. That's not my business, Marco. You know what I'm saying? That's not my business. That's not your business. If there's two consenting adults and nobody else is around, that's their business. I have nothing to do with who wants to do who. It's not my bed. <laughs> I want to go out and be safe. I want to buy some oxtail. Somebody tell me why a pack of wings is almost $30. Somebody tell me why they got ice cream locked up in Queens. Somebody tell me why people can't afford to buy insulin, but they buy an Ozempic to lose weight, and the people who need the medicine, Lord have mercy. What's going on? Because every time I, come, I turn around, it's a headline. It's a headline. So we got people taking the diabetic medicine to lose weight, but the people that actually has diabetes can't get medicine or can't afford medicine in America. Then they get rid of the immigrants that's moving this country. I want one. I want somebody to make it make sense. The distractions is not distracting me. Cause I'm I'm in the, I'm paying for shit. I'm feeling everything. I'm seeing everything. 
So all these distractions that they trying to do, it don't, it, yeah, I'm paying attention to all of that too, but I'm still, I'm very aware. It's a hot rotisserie mess, Biden and Kamala. What are we doing? And I want them to get more strict and gangster with these consequences for these crimes because we need to lessen them. The people are running rampant. They have no fear. When you have a bunch, when you have this type of population with no fear of repercussions and consequences, it's going to be havoc. They need to start fucking people up. Excuse my language. There I go again. Yes, let's start breaking arms and, and hands around here. And I'm dead ass. <laughs> I'm telling you, if they got more gangster, I always tell y'all, watch the crime rate drop. With y'all got, we got to start. We got somebody just said in the comments, these politicians don't care about us, but we have to start figuring out who they are and going after them. You understand? Not blue facing them. That don't matter. That don't matter. In our real, in the real world, that don't matter. That's entertainment. We need to find out who is in our county, who is in our community, what can be done here and now. Why are our people dying? Why are children dying at the hands of guns? What's going on? Hi, Scappy. Oh, Scrappy. This don't play, cause I'm outside the summer, Scrappy. You coming to get me or not? <laughs> you coming for me? You said what? People don't vote. No, we need to get. We really need to get involved. Like I'm, I'm, I'm serious. I know we are like, oh, okay, yeah. No, my mama gonna do it. My grandmother gonna do it. My uncle goes. No, no, no. No, 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 no. We need to get involved. And God forbid something happened to me, you know who did it. But I'm telling y'all, as a people, we need to really start paying attention. Who's running, what they're doing, who's following up with, with, with what they said they were going to do when they wanted your vote. That's the only way we're going to see change. Otherwise, it's going to be this constant bullshit over and over and over again. You said what? You be scared for your, yeah, for your son every day. Absolutely. Absol you said what? Run for city council? Absolutely not. <laughs> Y'all could imagine me up in there. Oh no, baby. They're not ready for me. I'm not cutting my nails. I'm not cutting my hair. Nothing. Huh? They played us, right? No, dead ass. It feels like a whole scam. A whole never ending tab and a scam. Like we caught up in some movie. But they not fooling me. I just want, I'm like, no, no, no. See, now, at this point, because I ain't going to lie to y'all. I done voted for Biden and them. I did. I did. I didn't like, I, I was a big fan of Trump before he started running for president. Once he started talking on that jibber jab, I was like, okay, no, this ain't going to work. It was too wild for me, too crazy. So I had to go the other route, right? I did not vote for him at all. So I voted for Biden and I just... The country was in shambles with the with the police brutality and the race stuff. And I was like, oh, my God, the atmosphere was crazy. And <clears throat> I really thought that we were in for like major changes when Biden came on board. Everybody's complaining. No, no, I, I like I have friends across the spectrum, rich, middle class trying to figure it out everybody is complaining thank you baby uh-huh absolutely sis who said about the grassroots yeah yeah so anyway I encourage you guys to start getting more involved. Figure out who's running, what's happening in your communities. If you guys want to stay here, I don't know. I'm not going to hold y'all. If I find a good deal, though, for us to move out of the country, you want to come? <laughs> no, like, deadass. Is there anybody else that's fed up? No, deadass. Like, if, if there's a way, there's a planet, right? 
think about this. That we could go to, right, another planet. Because I don't even know about Earth at this point. I, I, I don't know. But then I need Wi-Fi. I, uh, that's the thing. Do the planets have Wi-Fi? And they don't have no DoorDash or Uber Eats. It's not going to work. Forget the planet. Forget the planet. <laughs> Forget the planet. Y'all said y'all want to come? No, dead ass. <clears throat> like our own world, bro. Like literally. I'm over it. When I tell you I'm over it, like I'm over it. And I just want to pay. I want to pay one flat rate. For food to be included um, it's very uh uh daunting to live life pay bills be a mom work just do everything and then figure out dinner constantly so whatever whatever planet this is going to be for us on new space food needs to be included sundays you cook your own meals what do you think you like that yeah the bar is open from like five to about 2 a.m. during the week till 4 or 5 a.m. on the weekends, we might turn up. And yes, all types of snacks and everything. I just want to be on my own island. It's too much. But where would, where would we go? I want to go somewhere peaceful where there's no drama, no very little crime, very good health care, fun stuff to do. <sighs> I don't know. They don't. How's the Wi Fi? <laughs> I'm talking shit about Wi Fi. I'm a mom cutting up right here. That's how I'm a mom cutting up right here in Jersey. You see that? You said, somebody said Italy. Really? The motherland. We could all go what? Move with cookie? Oh, hell no. Hawaii is expensive. Jupiter, no Wi-Fi. Jamaica's, Jamaica's lit. Uh-huh. Grenada's hot and nice. Expensive. But I didn't see. I don't know. I didn't. I got to go back and really see. You know. Okay. Let me think. From where I've been. Let me think. Um, okay, two places. St. Martin or Napa Valley. Have you ever been? Go if you can. St. Martin, super safe, clean, nice, lots of things to do, very safe. Really love the vibe. Food is good. They could do hair. They could do makeup. They like they everything. I don't know what the medical stuff is like, but I really, 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 really enjoy myself. I think I'm going back for my birthday this year. I think I'm going back. Napa Valley near the bay, one of the most beautiful places I've ever been to. Also very expensive, but worth it. Napa is amazing. I'm telling you, I'm a I'm a wine girl though. So if you're not if you like champagne, they have that too. I'm sure they have other stuff at the bars, but. It's just something to see, you know? The scenery. Just, just y'all making me want to go. Anyway. Yeah, I know Napa's still in the U.S. I'm just thinking of other places. Okay, so not the U.S. Um, I want to say Jamaica, but for the food and for the vibes, but I don't think everywhere is safe. I don't, I don't, I, don't, I wouldn't want that for us because if that's what we're leaving from, I wouldn't say, Canada, yes, yes, but they don't want us, I heard. <laughs> Canada, yes. China, no, I don't think they want us either. Don't they got, don't they got beef with us right now? The ZR. Japan, Carrie says that. You know, Carrie lived there for a long time. He says that he's very nice, very safe, very clean. I agree with Canada. All right, we're going to circle back on this. Somebody said Kenya. Kenya. Hmm. Okay. Somebody said no, Canada fires. Oh, yeah. Damn straight. I came outside like, what in the Canada dry is going on? What country is that? Somebody dropped their flag in the... What's that? Bermuda? Bahamas. Oh, Bahamas. 
Bahamas was nice when I went. Really nice. The Atlantis. The rest of the island wasn't as nice as the Atlantis. However, when I went to Nassau, it was lit. Very, they have like American vibe. You know who, 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 who like, I was like super shocked to see like, I was like, they were so Americanized and I was shocked. I love Trinidad food, for sure. Trini food is lit, but it's not 100% safe. That's my people's, but it's just not. I don't want to, you know? Um, Aruba. I was shocked. I was shocked. I was like, did I leave the U.S.? Like, it's it's like that. Yeah. Um. I also feel like I experienced a little bit of prejudice there. It was a little weird. Maybe it was just me. I don't know. I'm not one of those people who's super sensitive, but I thought it was super weird. Like, I thought things were weird, and I didn't get treated better until this was just out in town when I went shopping until people started to recognize me then it was like i was being catered to and I, I felt some type of way about that in aruba i do remember that but other than that aruba is very americanized they have the casinos lots of things to do in the water lots of restaurants lots of resorts um yeah i love atlantis Atlantis is lit all right y'all gonna have me go looking up stuff now i heard about that country there I forgot how to pronounce that with the E. Oh, it's super lit. Yeah, it is. It's like it's like here. I was shocked. Like I was like really shocked. Like to see Benny Hanna's, all the like all the stuff we have here. Like it was like popping and it was lively. You know what I mean? Um. Oh, thank you, babe. Yeah. Maldives, I haven't been yet. Yeah, I'm I'm scared to go super far. The furthest I've been so far is Hawaii. Yeah, that's far for me. That's the furthest to see Cookie, but yeah. I haven't been to Bermuda, but I heard it's nice. We'll see. I want to go to Puerto Rico. I heard the food is good in Puerto Rico, man. Y'all making me want to go. Yeah, let me ask you guys a question. Do you guys like cruises? Cause I'm like on the fence. Bora Bora is really nice. I haven't been though. Panama, I heard too. Thank you, Cam. Lagos, Nigeria. Okay. No, Matigo Bay is it for food. I'm not gonna hold you. I'm not gonna hold you. Listen, when I had the food in Jamaica, I was like, what are we, what are they giving us in the states? Because this right here is top tier. Chef's kiss. DR, every time I'm, I'm supposed to go, something happens. But we'll see. Hopefully, I'll get to go soon. Because his brother owns rest, um, like clubs out there, too. <laughs> Somebody said, if I haven't seen the Titanic. I want to go, like, for, like, just... Okay, so, okay, so for those of you who, who've been on a cruise, just tell me this real quick, and I got to go. Do they search my bag? Are they going to find the weed or not? Nah? <laughs> I want to know now, because, like, here's the thing. If I, I don't like to go to people's countries with weed, but I will travel everywhere else within the U.S. with it, whatever. But the countries, I won't do it because I'm too nervous. But, cause I, and I, but I have to know I'll get it out there. You know what I'm saying? But if I'm on a ship, where am I going to get weed from? <laughs> I, there's no way to get it. So are they going to search me and stuff? Like, because I heard they do. I was inside earlier. You missed it. They're going to search. They search the stuff. Yeah, but when you go through customs, like, are they going through your... Uh, what I'm asking, right? Is, are, are they opening bags and going through things? Because I know that they look for liquor, which is so stupid. Hold on. I'm trying to see. Somebody said, child, they might search. <laughs> yes, put, put it in something. Oh, so they're going to search. Okay, so I can't go. Okay, I can't go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, that's a dub. <laughs> okay. 
Yeah, because when you know what I'm saying, like I would take a chick, you know, Jamaica, I'm gonna get that. Sure that I'm, I'm gonna get weed, everything. But like, I go on a cruise. Where am I gonna get it from? You know what I mean? Like, I wonder. I have an idea, but I like I don't want to deal with hassle if they find it. You know, what happens if they find it? I'm like I'm, I'm in trouble, or <laughs> they're gonna be like, oh, you can't come. Like jail trouble or like just you can't go on a trip trouble. What drug dealers on the cruise? Not a chip bag. That's a good fucking idea. And like seal it back. Thank you for that. Who the hell said that? Let's see who said that. Thank you for that. Uh who said that? Something mommy. Thank you, boo. Yes, the chip bag. Okay. I'm in the car. That's why it's dark. Yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna run. I'm 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 headed girl. Look, I don't know. I might be headed out. I don't know. I like on the fence. I done got Aiden prep. These are usually my times where I sometimes I dip out on Thursday and come back the next day or whatever the case is. But I think I'm feeling a little tired. I ordered some mussels, some um I did some chicken, uh what's it penne a la vodka? But I changed the penne. I asked for linguine. They gave me, what's that big papadelli? That's the big pasta with shrimp, chicken, melted mozzarella cheese, uh, basil. And I asked them to make it spicy. And then I got spicy mussels, a Caesar salad, and then garlic bread. I'm not going to eat that bread. Summer. Back is big enough. <laughs> Back holding on for dear life in the lingerie. <laughs> Well, y'all love, listen, listen, bread or rice, pick one. You could only eat one for the rest of the year. Bread or rice. I can't do it. I can't do it. Don't do it to me. Don't do it. Sis, let me tell y'all, they made, huh? The nails close up. She went a little crazy. You like? I took off the ring. Yeah. Thank you, baby. They listen. They made rice and bread for me. I ain't gonna hold you, but I've been staying away from the bread as much as I can. But the rice, <gasps> you could keep all the rice, like you could keep all except for white. Y'all choosing bread? Nah. And listen, I don't know if you've ever had it before. It's jasmine rice for me. Now, I, jasmine rice. I don't want no other rice. I love jasmine rice. I love it. Bread. Over rice? Mm, no. I, I actually need both, but I, don't, I could deal without the bread. Yeah, that rice, man. That rice. Anyway, it was good talking to y'all. I, I forgot I had to tell y'all something. Did I tell you me and my mother got into it? Tonight, I blocked her. I'm going to unblock her. I'm going to unblock her. We both Virgos, so it's like we always clash. I think that I was out of line. Slightly. Slightly. Not like disrespectful, but slightly. I, you know when you need, you know, you know when you mess when you do a little a little too much. I pretty much my mother likes to meddle a lot and say things. She says something crazy to me. You understand? Regarding the situation between me and baby father. So I had to tell her, I was like, with all due respect, I'm not going to take advice from you. You don't really have successful relationships. She hung up! But then I was tight that she hung up. But then I sat there and I thought about it. I came downstairs and I was like, nah, if Aiden told me that, he would have to see me. <laughs> you see? No, but look, no, 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 listen, listen. I'm not trying to be disrespectful. Growing up with the Caribbean parents, you're not allowed to say anything. You're not allowed to correct them. You're not allowed to have a thought. You're not allowed to nothing. So now that I'm an adult, I take pride in letting them know, hey, that's wrong. <laughs> hey, that's not the way this goes. Hey, <laughs> yeah. So uh, about that, I'm the one. I, and they can't, they call me the Yankee one. Because, <laughs> you know, I'm American. I'm <laughs> the rude Yankee. Yeah, 
I don't care. I'm going to tell y'all the truth. As respect. And I say, I always say, please, respectfully. First. <laughs> because nobody's told them. So they go around thinking that this nonsense or this whatever it is that they have in their head is that. So a lot of you are saying same. So I'm like, no, 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 no. This, 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 this is not how this is supposed to go. This is not how this works. You know what I'm saying? And then it's like, nah, I'm the bad guy. I keep it a thousand. But now that I think about it, I, I was in the kitchen like, okay, I was slightly out of line. So now I'm going to go back. Okay, so let me tell you what she said to me first. Hold on. I gave you partial, the story partially. She said, I said to her, why would I accept less? If I'm a queen, that's what I said to her. She said, well, if you're a queen, you need to start acting like one. Hold on. <laughs> what did I do? <laughs> what did I do? What did I do? What did I... I don't understand what I came... So now I was like, okay, so reflex. You know what I'm saying? The reflex. I'm like, well, you know, honestly, respectfully, I'm not... <laughs> When I thought about it, I was like, okay, I was slightly out of line. So I'm going to go apologize through, you know, through text and tell her good night. No, I said, oh, I said, um, we'll talk tomorrow. She's like, oh, oh you upset? <laughs> you know the accent, you upset? I was like, no, not really. It's been, it's been quite a day. I mean, that's literally my third fight of the day. So she just clicked. What are we going to do, sis? What are we going to do? Right? It's our parents. What are we going to do? Yeah, I'm not going to call because I already know what it's going to be. See, you got to know your parents. You got to know your people. If I call her, more than likely she's had time to fester. She's upset. <laughs> she's upset right now. If I text her, I avoid that confrontation until after when she's cooled off. Ah, got to learn. You got to live and learn. <laughs> you said you'd be hanging up on your mama. <laughs> I can't. Some of y'all is over it too. Like, nope, same thing. I be telling her, y'all can't deal, huh? No, because they, they literally be so, they be so strong with the wrong information too. Mad strong. Mad strong and mad aggressive. Like, no, 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 hold on. Hold on. <laughs> anyway, babe. Y'all have a good night. I'm going to talk to y'all soon, okay? Be safe out here. It's a crazy world. Ladies, if you're going to be by yourself at night, pay attention. You see, I'm in the car. I'm outside my house, so I'm good. The neighborhood is good, praise God. But that don't mean shit these days because people travel in all different areas. So, like, you know, try to be always aware of your surroundings. And unfortunately, during these times, you're gonna have to you, you're gonna have to carry some shit on you. I don't know what to tell you, mace, whatever it is to make you feel safe. Do what you have to do because the streets are not safe. Period. All right, you guys, I'll talk to you soon. Good night. <laughs>